my name is Weefies, and welcome back to another video. Today, after you guys all voted, I thought it was appropriate that we make Hypixel Game of the Decade. Now, I'm pretty sure Hypixel actually hasn't been around for one decade, but it, it, there are some good games on Hypixel. And after gathering about 500 to 700 votes of the community, I have achieved a list of your guys' favorite games of all years on Hypixel. Hope you all enjoy, and guess the top three in the comments. I'm going to be going through the top ten, so let me know what your thoughts are down below. Hope you enjoy, and let's get right into it. And consider subscribing if you do enjoy. We're getting really close to 30k, and I would be relevant if you subscribed. So right off the bat, I want to give a few quick disclaimers. Uh, there is no definition of best game. So first of all, it's best, not most popular, like most players. That might have changed the list a bit, but this is going to be best game, and this is going to be the best game, whatever your guys' definition of best, you all voted, not me, like, my tops would be different than these tops, so you might not agree with these, but this is just my community response to the best game, and there was a very big majority game, and we're going to consider this across all the years the game has been out, like, how influential it was, I mean, once again, y'all voted, so you had your own factors in play, but this is of all time, so right now, some could say Skyblock is the best, but back in 2017, when Skyblock didn't exist, obviously other games were better. But that said, let's get right into number 10, and that is going to be, as you can see, Super Paintball. Back in the day, 2015, 16, 17, I think, when Paintball was actually out, 15, 16, probably was when I played it the most, I really was a Paintball sweat. Like, Paintball is a super fun game. It's a very OG game, hence it's why in the Classics Games lobby. I, I'm not good at it anymore, but I can see why y'all chose it. It came in 10th with about... I don't know, 6% of the votes, if I do check. Uh, came with those, yeah. Uh, actually, no, 1.35% of the votes. So that is a very small percentage, but it is how many of you thought Paintball was the number 10 game of the decade. I don't have much to comment on this. I can't really say it's relevant anymore. It really has died down in popularity, but it, it's still a really fun game if you can get a queue. Number 9 is Turbo Kart Racers. I have never played this game more than 10 times, I think. And I think this is a really OG game, once again, in the classic games lobby. And I think the reason people like it so much is because he brings the great game of Mario Kart into Hypixel. And that just, you know, it's a very fun experience. I understand the appeal, definitely. I personally don't like it that much, but I can see why people would love to play it. It also got about 1.36% of the votes. And that seems like a little, but that's uh, number 9, so you interpret that how you will. Turbo Kart Racers came in number 9, and not much to say about this game as well. Move on to number 8. Number 8 really surprised me. It was the festive game of Grinch Simulator. Now, I'm pretty sure Grinch Simulator is a seasonal game, so it doesn't always come in. But probably popularized by Orphan Disappointer Technoblade, it is actually a very fun game. I can sort of now understand why I would pick it. It's really addictive and honestly really, really fun. Really proud of the high score that I got on this round. I was just recording this for the footage sake, but I actually ended up enjoying myself a lot. I can see myself playing the game a lot, and shout out to all the sweats who actually took the time to memorize the present locations, that's insane. Unless it randomizes, of course. Either way, a very, very fun game. I really enjoy Grinch Simulator, and I think it does deserve a spot at least somewhere on this list. And it does come in with number 8, with 1.58% of the votes. Still very little when you look at the whole thing, but that's about like 50 votes, so it's definitely something significant. Number 7 is more what I expected this item to be, and that is UHC. With a whole 3.15, so double the previous game, 3.15% of the votes, UHC is comes in at number 7. Now, for all you don't know, UHC is pretty much survival, but it's you have about a couple of minutes, like 20 minutes I think, maybe less 10 minutes, to just survive and get resources, and then you fight to the death of other players. And you can keep getting resources, but eventually there's a deathmatch. I'm not going to go into it, but UHC is a play on the survival aspect of Minecraft, and it is just a super fun game. Sometimes it takes the queue a while to fill up, but with many new modes like Fast UHC, which is what I'm playing right now in this footage, it's for all players, even if you don't have time to wait in a queue. Very much popularized by YouTubers such as WispyXC uh, and X Nestorio, great UHC players, and even Palika. I enjoy watching all three of them. It's definitely a fun game, and I definitely recommend trying it out if you haven't already. If you're not good at PvP, it's a great way to learn, and the only thing that I don't like about it is that sometimes you still have enough gold to unlock the crafting recipes. Of course, gold comes with playing, so it's not a huge deal, but just a small minor issue that I have with the game. No big deal, probably my fault for not being dedicated enough. Either way, UHC is definitely a fun game and deserves the number 7 spot on this list.
Number six is a feature game in Minecraft Monday. It is TNT Run, coming in with a significant 4.28% of the votes, so a whole like 1.5% more than UHC. TNT Run comes in at number six. Now, I love TNT Run. It has been a game for so long. It has been around for so long, and I'm pretty sure while Hypixel wasn't the first server to come up with this game, they definitely have a great interpretation of it. Can I say that? I don't know. With all the double jumps and slow potion and speed potion, and it's just a fun game for all ages. When I first joined Hypixel, I would love playing this game, and I still do. It is definitely one of my top 10 favorite games on the server, even top 7. So definitely, I would recommend playing tier on TNT Run if you haven't already. It's not very hard to get good, and it's a very like skill-based game, but that skill isn't PvP. It's calculating your jumps, and then thinking smart about which blocks to step on, and then not getting screwed over by other players. It's a really, really fun game. It's really relaxing, and honestly, a really, really enjoyable experience in general. So I do recommend playing TNT Run if you haven't already. And yeah, moving on, number 5. Top 5, here we go. Since it was introduced, Murder Mystery is all, has always been a great game for all ages and for all skill levels in Minecraft. It doesn't require too much skill, and while hiding could be fun, this game was revolutionary. Introdu it introduced a whole new playing style on Hypixel of hiding and trust and murder. It was honestly a fun game, sparking challenges or giving a floor or stage for challenges like the I am stone, I am wood, etc. And a whole bunch of YouTubers like Preston Plays, Unspeakable, all those uh, appealing popular YouTubers playing Murder Mystery just sparked the community's interest and Murder Mystery has still been going relatively strong. It was voted in at number 5 with 6.53% of the votes, so still under 10% but a significant number of votes. And honestly, this is just a super enjoyable game overall. Murder Mystery is a great game. It doesn't require, as I said before, too much skill. So you can play it, and it's always fun. It might be frustrating we don't get murderer, but being an innocent and just exploring the map, it's like it's really surreal to experience a murder game in Minecraft. And with so many other players and different modes like Infection, it's just an overall extremely fun game that I love to play with my friends on a weekend. Honestly, I do recommend moving on to number four. If you have made it this far, then thank you so much. Consider subscribing because, you know, maybe you didn't enjoy the video, but you kept watching. But if you did enjoy, then consider subscribing. But anyway, number four, Build Battle. Build Battle is definitely in my top five games, but I did not expect it to come up this high. Honestly, I didn't think the community's love of Build Battle was not was that high, but Build Battle is, of course, a great game and deserves to be at number four, in my opinion. Popularized by YouTubers such as Grian, It's Jerry and Harry, and so many other great builders. Honestly, Build Battle has been around for ages and is still a fun game. With new additions like Guess the Build and Pro Mode with World Edit, quote World Edit, it is still becoming a game for all new players, and you can get good at building, you can see other people, and I think that's the best thing about Build Battle, you can see other people's builds and gain inspiration. If somebody builds an inappropriate PP, you can always report it, so there's no problem there. And just, Build Battle is a great game, there's not too much to say about this for me, it's been along for a while, and it has been going strong since, so it does deserve the number 4 spot. It got 11% of the votes, and now to the top 3. Let's get right into it. As some of you may have guessed, this would definitely be in the top 3, and it is my personal favorite game on the Hypixel network. And while I don't think, maybe it is the best game, it's definitely my favorite. Sky Wars comes in at number 3 with an astonishing... 11% of the votes. It's practically tied with Build Battle. That's what's so surprising to me about this. Regardless, Sky Wars definitely deserves to be in the top 3 because of how great of a game it is. The Sky Wars concept and game has been around for like 7 years. When I first logged onto Minecraft, the very first server I played was Skywars.com. The Skywars.com experience, of course, is nostalgic, but Hypixel Skywars takes it to another level. Hypixel Skywars adds a bunch of great features, the kits are balanced. Everything is amazing, the maps are amazing, and the modes, lucky block, teams, insane, normal, overall a great game, and I can I can guarantee you, many YouTubers that play Sky Wars do enjoy it, I hope, and they spark the interest for the community, so great commentary YouTubers such as Technoblade, even Skeppy when he plays Sky Wars. They just show what a great game it is and how fun it is for all audiences. Whether you're just getting good at PvP or you're a pro at PvP, you will probably, hopefully, enjoy Skywars, and I do recommend playing it every once in a while. Number two is going to be Skyblock, and I probably don't even have to announce number one, but because you can probably all tell what it is, but let's just get out. Let's like talk about number two. Now, personally, I have never really played Skyblock too much. I 
I understand. I definitely understand the appeal, though. Skyblock is a great game. It's a great modern take on the classic Skyblock mini game, and Hypixel just does an amazing job of incorporating aspects such as the auction and, excuse my very limited knowledge of Skyblock. But pretty much everything you can do in Skyblock is unique to Hypixel and overall makes it such a great game mode. Great YouTubers such as Technoblade, Time Dio, Tommy in it show how amazing of a game mode it can be. And all my friends who do play it say it's so fun and really recommend that I play as well. Skyblock has taken Hypixel by storm and it's probably the most popular game on the server right now. Its lobbies often have to go in for maintenance leaving thousands of people unhappy which is which definitely just shows the passion towards the game. I can see why it is such a respected game and it is very, very addictive, sparking hilarious content from so many creators and so many fun experiences are achieved by playing it, I guess. So that of course definitely earns a spot and it comes in at number 2 with 13% of the votes. So definitely Sky Wars has been a great game. It is relatively new but it has gained such a huge audience that it's impossible not to have it in the top 3. But there is one number 1 game. And I think you would agree. If there is one other game that can compete with a huge surge of popularity gained by Skyblock, it is Bed Wars. The number one spot on our list with 38% of the votes is Hypixel's original game, Bed Wars. Ripped off by Mindplex with Cake Wars and taken by so many other servers, Bed Wars is a remarkable game that when introduced just spiked Hypixel's popularity tenfold. So many YouTubers, every Hypixel YouTuber nearly, played Bedwars videos, Bedwars challenges were made, Bedwars YouTubers made comedy, absolutely amazing, and players such as Gamerboy80 and ITMG really found popularity within the game, both of those being great YouTubers that I do recommend watching if you're not already. Bedwars is such a revolutionary game that introduces an entirely new aspect of Minecraft. I do recommend playing it, and the reason I do think Skywars is my favorite, but Bedwars is the best simply because of all it did to the Hypixel server. It connected players, it gave people a very big, strong motivation to play on Hypixel, and it was overall a fun experience for all player levels with modes like solo, 40v40, doubles. Honestly, if you want to play with three people, you could, four people, you could, 40 people, you could play Bedwars. Bedwars was inclusive to all, and it was honestly just a great game, and still is a surging game with a massive amounts of players playing it daily. I do recommend playing Bedwars. It is probably one of the best games, if not the best game on the Hypixel network, but that concludes our list. Thank you all so much for watching this far. If you have enjoyed, then consider subscribing. That was the top 10 best games on Hypixel as voted by you guys. That concludes my list. I'll see you all the next time I upload, probably in about two days, three days, one day. It depends when this comes out, probably three days. I'll see you all then. Peace out and goodbye.